Hi guys, you're tuning in to Chaotic TV. We're bringing you a PvP from IEM Katowice's round of four. This is the first one. Um, we're g our first map is Cloud Kingdom. There's already a pro moving across, so I'll introduce these as quickly as I can. The red Protoss playing for Team Alternate. He is Saka. The blue Protoss in the bottom left, uh, his opponent playing for Team LGIM. He is first. So we're going to see what this probe does. This you can't really send out a probe this early without ha planning on doing something. It looks like the German player, Zaka, is going to be doing something crazy. He's going to proxy something. He's got a pylon coming down right now. Uh, first has not scouted, so he has no idea what's going down. Usually a lot of a lot of players on ladder at least will send out a scout right after their very first pylon and then build another probe right away, but Zaka has sent out his probe and he's continuing. He's holding off on building more probes until he gets his gateway down so he can be as cost efficient with his minerals as he's got coming. I wonder what he's going to do is probably just going to be a zealot play out of the player out of the player um, out of this first gateway so we're going to have to see what happens in the next couple of minutes. If first is able to hold this off with a later gateway, if he had walled off right here he might have been able to hold it off with some emergency pylons but I, I'm actually kind of scared for the LGIM player right now. Zaka this is kind of out of his ordinary. He's very he's usually a very conservative player going for long macro games. And first is going to spot... Oh, he's not going to spot that. Oh my goodness. Zaka is going to get away with this two-gate proxy. It's going to be a huge blow to the LGIM player, especially with going gas first. He's not going to be able to do anything. If he saves up money for a Nexus, he might have enough to emergency chrono out some zealots. But we already see the first zealot going out right now for the red Protoss, and this pylon will be able to see whatever is coming in, but it's not going to be quick enough. He's not going to have an enough seconds to chrono out the first Zealot. He's going for a, a cybernetic score before Zealot. It's always scary as a Protoss player. He's got one already out. He's debating for two more, continuing the Croto boost amount. We're going to have to see how Zaka starts this whole best of five off with a bang, and LJM first is now starting to scout, and by the time he gets across the map, he is not going to believe his eyes. There's already a two, three zealots coming in right now. This continuing production, and now first knows that something heavy is coming into his his base. He brings the probe along with it. There's the cancel on the um, on the Vespin geyser, and he's starting to chrono boost out. The fir his first zealot is already out. He's trying to pile on block the rest of this. He's going to continue to not disallow the zealots to pile on cap him. Uh, that's why he built this other pylon here, so that the gateway is not unpowered as soon as it goes down. There's going to lose the pylon. The, the cybernetic score is killed, but all of these zealots are going to get wiped out by as many probes as they possibly can. But the, de the death toll for the probes is actually very painful right now for the uh, LGIM first player. This micro for the stalker is going to be terrific. The zealots are on hold position against these what are they called? Probes. <laughs> And he is able to hold this off. That is a, an incredible boon for first being able to hold that off. That is some deliberate Korean play. Oh my goodness, he's going to be able to, to micro these two stalkers against the zealots all day long, and he's going to be able to take them out. So he's gas first play is actually, if you have the micro for it, he's going to be able to hold off the zealot play. He's got a probe of his own checking out the base of, of Zaka, who's, even though he killed off a number of zealots, or of, of workers right now, he's still behind in the harvester count simply because of those chrono boosts he spent on the gateways as opposed to the probe count of his own. We've got a a desperation forge coming in right now which is being seen by LGIM's uh, probe right now, or his first probe, and the zealot pressure is continuing even though it's not going to do any more damage. He's continuing to build zealots which I don't think is actually the best use of his resources right now. He waited until those those units got down to his base before he brought in the, the zealots to do as much damage as they possibly can against these remaining zealots and this one zealot is going to take out the pylon um, but not before two zealots pop out ooh it is actually going to get he's going to get one zealot out before it's pylon caps oh there it is and the zealot micro continues the stalkers were sent home and he has killed one more probe five probes have been killed by First, how did that happen? Did his one lone probe kill enough probes back here? There it is. Sokka realizes that his push was all for naught. First is already too far in the lead with these stalkers, and he is not going to be able to take the game back.
So Zaka starting this whole best of five off with a bang. LGI at first successfully holding it off. We're going to see what happens in game two in just a second. From Chaotic, from Chaotic TV, I am KO. Thank you for watching. Cheers.